Welcome on board, welcome on board everyone. Nice to see you this evening. I hope you are getting ready for your, your all night. Okay, please share the broadcast whilst you are waiting for me. I will soon start. Hey, please share the broadcast. I'm waiting to see some sharing there. Enjoy the music in the background. It's a very nice song. It's a song by Sonny Badu. So this evening, I'm just going to prepare us towards our all night, what I call a personalized all night, which means it's just you in your room praying throughout the night. If you are married, you have to do it with your wife or with your husband. If you are single and you have family members with you, you can ask them to join you. If you don't have any family members around you, you've got friends, you can ask them to join you. If not, you do it alone. And try and push through, okay? You can set an alarm every one hour, just in case you fall asleep. The alarm will wake you up but ultimately enjoy it if you get to the point whereby you feel like you are tired you can go to bed okay all right so i've got a few revelations that we've received this second week of the fast and i'm going to share them and then we pray into it hopefully in the few in the coming days we'll be praying more into this as well but tonight, I want us to focus on them as part of the all night. Okay, so if you are joining us for the first time, today is our day 11 of the fasting and prayer. The theme is breakout. And the scripture we are using is Psalm 124, verse 7. I've already posted a lot of um, prayer points on the Facebook page, on the Single with a Life Facebook page and on the Married with a Life Facebook page. If you're on WhatsApp, I always post them um, on the WhatsApp group and also on my WhatsApp status. And they are also available on YouTube. So all the prayer points, there, there is audio for each of the days. I'm still working on them because of schedule. It's not easy because those of you who do editing, you know that Editing is not an easy thing. You have to sit down, put things together. I have to download the audios from WhatsApp after we finish praying, convert them into MP3 before I can use them. Okay? And it takes time. It takes time. Sometimes right from work, I come and sit behind the computer and I start working. So I've, I've so far uploaded up to day, day eight. Okay. And what has actually slowed me down a bit is the, is the uh, software I'm using for the conversions. Sometimes it just messes up, okay, but I'm pushing through. So if you want to pray through the audios, you will hear, most of the time you hear me praying or my husband praying or both of us praying, okay. We pray through the various prayer points in the day. So if you don't know how to form your, your prayer vocabulary, you can pr use them to pray and then just repeat what we are saying or let it play over you and receive it because most of the, the prayers we are doing is actually for those of you who are fasting we are praying more for you so um, make time and play them so that um, you can enjoy what god is doing in this fasting and prayer okay and i can also assure you that there are lots of breakthroughs already happening. We've already got testimonies coming in. And so let's keep pushing, keep praying, keep, keep praising until something happens. 
don't underestimate your prayer by thinking nothing is happening something is happening no matter what the experiences are at the moment god will definitely break you out okay so on day nine there was um a dream that my husband had so i'll share it we also had a word coming in for day 10 day 11 today is uh, day 11 so all of them are coming from what god has showed me and my husband so the first one he says um day nine he said i saw a woman in a dream removing one heavy coat let me pause the music i saw a woman in a dream removing one heavy coat and putting on another lighter coat and this word came i have removed from you over barrenness and i have put on you over barrenness and in other words over fruitfulness now when my husband said said it to me i, I said to him over barrenness can something be bad as you know you if you are barren and god is saying it is over it's like excessive barrenness okay and it doesn't necessarily mean uh, maybe fruit of the womb it could be dryness in any aspect of your life maybe you you've been struggling it's like there is nothing happening in your life that is barrenness okay so god is saying he's removing from us over barrenness and he's putting on us fruitfulness okay over fruitfulness fruitfulness that people will say wow this one you know there are some blessings that comes into your, into your life people say you've gone to juju okay sometimes when they say that i wonder how big how big they think the devil is over god because when people say oh look at this pastor the way he's praying for people they are falling he's probably gone for juju sometimes i wonder it's almost like we don't trust our god yeah if we think juju or the devil is that powerful how much more god yeah god can use his men of god he can use anybody to work wonders and it's still fine okay so god is going to bless us in a level that people will wonder is this for real and it is for real okay so it says i have removed from you over barrenness and i've put on you over over barrenness or over fruitfulness and this applies to all and then after that we prayed into it and right after we finished praying another word came he said from now on there will always be joy from now on there will always be joy so i don't know who this message is for i believe it's for all of us um those of us who are who have experienced dryness in our lives unfruitfulness in our lives god is changing that he has already changed it and he's saying that from now on there will always be joy okay so if you've experienced sadness brokenness and you don't know what your life is going, whether it's going, it's coming, as Ghanaians will say. Um, God is bringing joy into your life, okay? Yeah, so I formed some prayer points based on that that we can pray into. And then day 10, my, had, my husband had another word. It was based on Psalm 107 verse 2. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy and then um, he wrote under that he said let the redeem of the let the redeem of the lord say so say what say i break out okay so we did this on um, day 10 and everybody the whole whatsapp group was was packed with i break out <laughs> literally everybody was declaring it and he says and the angels of the lord shall back you Okay, so once you declare it, I break out, the angel of the Lord will back you. Okay, and then uh, day 11, I had um, two dreams. Actually, we woke up around um, three something to pray or just before three. And then whilst we were praying, I, I think I had a dream. I had a dream briefly, just came briefly before my husband woke me up to, for us to pray. So whilst we were praying, he came back to me and I, I literally said, um, I, sh I just shared a dream and then we prayed into it. And then after we prayed, um, I started work a bit late that day. So I went back to sleep a bit 
And then just before I woke up, I had another dream. Okay, so this, the 11 was very interesting, which is actually today. Today is the 11. And I've actually had some experience today that I've never had before. Um, normally we, we pray, men of God pray for us, they lay their hands on us and we start falling. But interestingly, I was praying, praying and by the time I realized I was rolling all over. You know, so I believe something has happened today. It's a, an, an amazing day. And I thank God uh, for what he's doing. So the dream that I had was that we were going somewhere and I saw a guy. He was, the, the guy was walking with a young girl, maybe one year, two years. The child wouldn't be more than three years. So he was walking with the girl and then there was a woman behind him who was trying to steal the baby. He was trying to kidnap or snatch the baby and run away with, with the baby. So somehow it's like the, the guy turned, turned around and saw the lady. And then for some reason, it looks like the whole thing was like a picture I was seeing, like a, a video that I was watching. And then um, the lady now started to run. So I picked a cane. It's like, a, it's like one stick, but it had two branches. So I picked it and I was chasing her and I beat her. I literally flogged the lady flogged her and she was unconscious. I think she died. But in the dream, she, she was just lying there lifeless. I beat the hell out of her. So I woke up, we prayed into it. You know, God is giving us something. We've got a child can rep represent your vision. Okay, it can represent your vision. It can represent something that God, your seed, something that God has placed in you or something that we've already birthed out that we are still nursing that the devil wants to take away from us. But hey, not under this anointing. They will die, okay? Not under this anointing. Um, we've got the angel of the Lord fighting on our behalf. And tonight we are going to flog them. So um, that is the first thing I saw. And then the second one, I saw myself in a, in a, in a house. It looked like a family house. It looks like my family house. But actually, the people there, I didn't really know some of them. So I don't know whether it's just symbolism of, uh, symbolic of maybe Swaliens or whatever. I don't know. But it was in a family house. And um, I, I was anointing the place. So I, put, I poured the, the anointing oil on the compound. And whilst, whilst I did that, there was this man who was in the house. It was like a middle-aged man. He's probably, he shouldn't be more than 40 years. And then um, he was, in the dream, he was singing. You know, sometimes when we see people singing and doing the things of God and praying, we, we get deceived to think that all of them are from God. But there are some people, they only do that to blindfold us, to deceive us, you know. Because we have people in the family that everybody trusts, everybody thinks, oh, this person, she's God-fearing, she's always in church, he's God-fearing, he's always praying. But we never know that they are actually, you know, agents of the devil or they are actually the people that are stopping our breakout. Okay, sometimes we find family members who are the nicest in the family. It's all a deceit. Sometimes it's all a deceit just to blind you. So they will say, oh, this person, oh, the whole family, she's the best. But actually, she's the, the, the reason why the family is suffering. Just a revelation. Personally, I've had um, family, family revelations. So some of these things, when I say them, is out of experience. And um, I poured anointing oil there. So the guy was singing, you know, by the time I realized he was, he was rolling all over. And then um, he started saying, fire, 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 fire. And then he expired. He died. Okay. So, um, as you can see, most of the dreams I've shared so far, we see people being either beaten to death or whatever. There, there's always a death in it. So, and the God told us from the beginning, he said, the strong man will go down. Okay, so whoever is pretending to be what, you know, and they are the ones that are standing in our way of breaking out, God will remove them by fire. Okay, so the instruction that came, the direction that came from that dream was that everyone should anoint their house. We, I gave um, in the first, I think in the, the introduction of the fast, 
the video I did, I gave instruction that we should all um, get anointing oil. I posted a message by Bishop David Oyedepo, which teaches more about the mystery of the anointing oil. And I said that if you can recite or declare exactly what he's declaring on the anointing oil, or just tap, touch the screen with it whilst he's speaking so that he speaks over it, okay, and make your own declarations over it as well. So the same anointing oil, anoint your house, okay. If you're in a family compound, a family house, pour some on the, on the compound, in the middle of the compound. If you have the opportunity, anoint the whole place, okay. But most importantly, anoint your room, anoint your house, pray. After you finish the anointing the place, pray, okay. If it's speaking in tongues, just speak in tongues and let the Holy Spirit take, um, do what he has to do. But ultimately, we are praying that the, the Lord will turn the anointing oil into fire, okay, to destroy whatever needs to be destroyed, okay. So um, those are the things that we've seen today, um, the revelations for this week so far. And we're going to pray a prayer point, some, some of the, the prayer points I've put here. I will try and type them out onto the Facebook page. Maybe during the week, um, I'll post some out tomorrow and then um, as the week goes so that we pray through them. Okay. Now, some of us don't believe in this fire, 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 fire prayers. So maybe you are even watching me, you are looking at me, you are like, what kind of girl is this always praying, fall down and die? You, 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 you see, sometimes when you've never had some experience, you think that the devil is not there. Or when you've never experienced certain things in your life, some hardships, you've not gone through some serious situations in your life, you think that everybody loves you. You think your, all your family members are angels. You think all your friends are angels. My dear, until God opens your eyes, you will never appreciate some of these things. Okay, so take this prayer seriously. For me, I don't mind. If you don't want to pray, fire, fire prayer, it's fine. That is your decision, but I will pray. Because I know what is chasing me and I know what I know. Okay, there is um, a prayer point that I've put here concerning the baby, the dream about the baby. And actually, when I was trying to put the prayer point down, there was, um, I remember this story, true life story that Apostle Johnson Suleiman shared in one of his, um, his Open Heavens crusade. And he said that there was this lady who had, she was married, she's had two children, I think two or three children. All of them, all of the children are crippled. They can't walk. They literally walk on their bone. So can you imagine a woman, you've had a baby, children, all your children, not even one, all. So it means that you now have to bath these children. You do everything for them, even when they get to a certain age, most of the time when children are young, that's when you do things for them. But when they are older, you get a, they start doing things for themselves. But can you imagine a child who is crawling, who is still crawling on the bomb, even at the age of 20? You still have to be buffing them. You still have to be doing things for them. So that means that as a woman, you, you won't even have a life. You can't have a life as a married pe a couple because you'll be stressed. So this woman went to one of Apostle Johnson's um, crusades. And uh, the man of God raised a prayer point. He said, angel of God, carry Koboko. I think I've, I was asking the, the WhatsApp group, the Nigerians, what is Koboko? And they said, it's a whip. It's like a cane. Okay. He said, carry Koboko. Flog my attackers. So the lady prayed a prayer over there and came home. And then every night she would wake up and then start praying, angel of God, whoever made my children cripple, Carry Koboko, flog them. So she was praying, praying, praying. The husband got tired of her. She said, what is this? Every night you wake up, you're praying. They say, what is it? And then she started crying. You know, women, she started crying. She said, I'm suffering. I'm suffering. Look at all these children. I have to do this for them. I have to do that for them. I'm suffering. Whoever did this to my children, angel of God, carry Koboko, flog them. So she was... You know, every day, and the husband got tired. So the husband said, okay, if you are suffering, 
Fair enough, I'll go to the village and bring my mother to come and help you at home. The lady said, okay. The husband drove all the way to the village. Immediately she, he got there, he told the mother, Mama, uh, my, my, my wife has been struggling with the children. I need somebody to come and help. So I, I came to speak to you and see if you can come. And then the woman said, eh, your wife, she claims she is a Christian. And she is beating people. She is beating person. She they she they beat person. Imagine. So the husband said, Ah, how? My husband, my wife doesn't live in the, this village. How is she beating person? So the the woman still had the audacity upon all the beatings she's received. She still had the audacity to follow the the son to come into their marital home, pretending she's coming to take care of the children. So she came, and then. The woman didn't stop her prayer, so she woke up in the middle of the night. Angel of God, whoever did this to my children, carry Koboko, flog them. She started hearing the woman in the room screaming, tell your wife to stop, tell your wife to stop. Her mother-in-law, two grandchildren or three grandchildren, all of them crippled. What are you gaining from that? Now, the woman started confessing, guess what? The next day, the children were all up on their feet walking. So if this lady was praying, Father, forgive those who did this to my children. Hey, Holy Spirit, show them your love. Let them know that you love them. The children will crawl on their bum for the rest of their life. And she will not have a life. Because she can't do anything. She, she can't go anywhere. She can't. So some of us, we think these prayers are joke. You know, we don't believe that they are witches. They are wizards. Cool. But allow us, Swalians, allow us, Moalians, we will pray. I will share my personal story. My sister and I. Though some of you know my sister. She's on the, both of the groups. In 2016, 2017, I had a dream that there was somebody. I saw the person. It's a, related to the family. I saw the person. And the person came into the dream, told me, you and your sister, I will deal with you. So in the dream, I said to her, okay, you see, you see how old you are? You see the way you are old? If you try me, eh, I will just push you and you will fall down and die. That was what I said in the dream. Oh. So I woke up, I said, what? Why, what have we done that she said she would deal with us? So I spoke to my sister. I said, this is the dream I had. So we started praying. And then we decided, 2017, we decided that we are going to pray fire, fire, fire prayer. Whoever is in the family, whoever is around us, who is behind any problems we are facing, if the fire burns them, it burns them. If we throw the bullet, it cut your head, it cut your head. Because we don't know who is who anymore. So we started praying and the revelations we had. And I tell you, 2017, my sister, it wasn't up to six months. She, she, she met somebody. She went to, uh, she was running a family business. And then there were so many problems. She decided, you know what, she's going to leave it. And then she actually was so stressed. She decided to even leave the town. And then one of my sister's husband's, um, um, so like a long distance, so like a, her niece, my sister's husband's niece was in a different city. So they, her, she's had a children and the children really love my sister. So she said, okay, if you are, you are stressed up and you don't want to do the business anymore, come, come to where I am. At least the children will see they'll be happy. So she came, she went there and then she was working the school. So one day my sister followed her to the school and the headmaster in the school, in, in the UK we call it head teacher, but Ghana we say headmaster. The headmaster in the school, immediately she, he saw my sister, she said, you, I'll marry you. And my sister was like, are you crazy? You don't even know me anyway, you don't know anything about me, you want to, you tell me you marry me. So she was very upset about the whole thing, the man started giving her pressure. She spoke to me, she said, peace. Um, you know, I've just met this guy, he's putting pressure, I'm so upset. He, he was just complaining, she was just complaining to me. 
So I asked her a few, few, a few questions and she answered and I realized, no, the guy is very focused. So I said, marry him or marry him. And she was shocked. She was like, what do you mean? I thought you were going to back me. You also. And I said, hey, marry him. So long and short of the story, they got married. It wasn't up to six months. They didn't date for one year or six months or eight months. Even my sister was the one who delayed her, him because I was telling my sister that if you think you, you are not comfortable, you don't know him very well yet and you, you want to pray more, then slow the whole process down. So she slowed it down. And even that, six months. And it's because we did what? We did what? We prayed. We stopped praying love of God prayer. There are some people, the love of God will not save them. The only thing that will help them is fire. Okay, there are some people you can't pray for them to, pray, to, 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 to repent. They will not repent. They need to be removed. That is how it's supposed to be done. Okay, and surprisingly, my sister and I got married the same year. She got married January, I got married December. Because we did what? We decided we are praying our prayers. We are sending our fire. We are sending our bomb to wherever it's supposed to go. If it destroys you because you are evil, it destroys you. If you are not evil, if you are not on our case, you don't have to worry about how we pray. Okay, so I'm just encouraging us with this testimony so that we know that there is something in the world. There is something in the world. I shared a, a testimony from the June fasting. It's on the page. Okay, um, I don't know which number was, I think impact number four. Five or and it was to do with some a, a guy, one of our Swalians, who finished university. She he completed three years. He he didn't find a job. Three good years, and I actually took you through all the different jobs how we've worked. I've worked along him, and it sounded like so many jobs that he had to apply for and all of that. I only took you through that journey so that you appreciate the the testimony at the end. And he realized that he only got his breakthrough through the fasting that we did. For three good years, he's been looking for a job. With all the dreams he will have, anytime there's interview, he will, he will have a strange dream, a particular dream. And once he's got that dream, that interview, he will not, he will not get it. He will not get a job. His breakthrough came through the fasting. Some of us, we think maybe you've just lost your job or you've been searching for a job for a long time. You think it's natural. Sometimes it's not as natural as you think. There could be a spiritual force behind it. And it is in times like this that you take things seriously and pray. I was speaking to somebody posted on the WhatsApp group. He's not fasting. And then he sent me, I said, why are you not fasting? He sent me a private message because he's not feeling very happy. He, he's looking for a job. If you're looking for a job, is this not a time to fast? So I said to him, my friend, this is not an excuse. I know you're emotionally drained, you're mentally drained, but this is not an excuse for you to say because of that, uh, I'm not fasting. This is the time that you need a fasting more. You need to pray more because you need to break out from that unemployment situation. Okay, so if you've been having a lot of disappointment, every man comes, they disappoint you. They take your money, they leave you. This is the time you break out. You go to push, you go to cry unto God. God. I am breaking out of this by fire, by force. I cannot remain the same again after this program. Don't just see me, peace. I mean, I was sitting here, small girl like that, and take, take things for granted. I'm not sitting here because I want to sit here. Some of you know how I started. You know my story. God made it possible. And God is the one instructing this whole thing to, to be done. I'm also trusting God for my own miracles. Okay, so it's not just about, you know, I, we also have, me and my husband, we have our, our own things that we are trusting God to break us out from. And we've decided this is, this is it. This month is not ending without God doing those things. Okay, so we're going to pray. Pray your fire prayers. Don't mind who is watching, who is not watching. Okay, I'm going to put the music in the background again. And then we pray into it. Okay. If you missed the beginning, please, after this, you have to watch it again because we have uh, some dreams that I've shared, okay?
So the first prayer point is pray and declare that you are removing any garment of heaviness and taking on a garment of lightness. Okay, or a garment of praise. And the scripture, Isaiah 61, actually you can read from verse 1 to 3, but I'm going to read from verse 3. He said, And provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his, his splendor. And then Matthew eleven twenty eight verse 30 he said, Come to me, all you who are very weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. So we are asking God every burden of heaviness, every garment of heaviness, as he said that he has removed them, we are taking on the garment of praise. We are taking on the garment of beauty. We are exchanging any evil garment that we are wearing. We are exchanging it for God's garment of lightness. So shall we pray? Masa kabro sobre ki ateria masi bere 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 ya. Mo sobre bere ki ateria makabro sobre ki ateria masi bere bere bere. Ma ateria mamro sobre ki ateria makabro sobre bere 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 bere. Ma ateria masi bro ko sobre ki ateria mama mamo. Ye kateria masi bere 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 bere. Ma ya kateria muro sobre ki ateria masi bere 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 bere. If you can't speak in tongues, just praise and thank God for how far he has brought you. Feel free to type your prayers in the comments and let us flow in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God, for day 11, for the second week of our fasting and prayer, O oh God. We thank you for how far you have brought us. We thank you for strength. We thank you for energy. Father, we thank you for stamina. We thank you for giving us a willing spirit to sustain us. Father, we thank you for grace, grace, grace to be able to wake up and pray. Father, we thank you for grace to be able to pray on the job, to be able to work and pray at the same time. We thank you, O God, for the strength you are giving us, the mental strength, the emotional strength. We bless you for the word that you have given us throughout this fasting and prayer so far, O God. We are grateful that you've assured us that you are with us. You've assured us that you have called this fasting and prayer. You have assured us that your angels have been dispatched to help us. And so, Lord, we thank you. Our soul says yes to your will. Our soul says yes to what you are doing in this season of our breakout in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. We honor you, O oh God. We say you are beautiful beyond description. You are marvelous, O oh God. We thank you, faithful Father. We thank you, faithful God, our source, our source, our defender. Lord, we bless you for being our protection. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Makateria brosho breki ateria mama mama sheke teria bosho. Ye kata ta 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 ta. Ye kata ta 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 ta. Ye kata ta 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 ta. Meki ya brosho bre 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 bre. Ya kata ta 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 ta. Ye kateri ya mama o shubere ya maka bro shubere ki ya bro shubere ki ya te Meri ya mana bro shubere bere 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 ya mama mama Ye kateri ya maka bro shubere bere 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 ya We thank you Jesus We thank you Lord We thank you for day 11 O oh God we bless you it has been by your power. It has been by your strength. It has been by your grace. Father, we join hands together. As Swaliens, as Mualiens, we join hands together with all the people that are following this fasting and prayer. And we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word that you are removing every garment of heaviness and you are replacing it with the garment 
of lightness. And so, Lord, we have come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we key into this word. We key into this word. We key into this word. We accept your garment of lightness. We accept it in the name of Jesus. And we pray, oh God, according to your word in Isaiah 61, verse 3, the Father, instead of our ashes, we take on beauty in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that instead of mourning, we take on the oil of joy. The oil of joy. There shall be joy going forward. Every day of our lives, we shall experience joy. In our singleness, joy. In our marriage, joy. In our education, joy. In our ministry, joy. In our homes, joy. In our families, joy. In our careers, joy. In our businesses, joy. Father, on the road, joy. At the stations, joy. Father, when we are at the shopping center, joy. Everywhere, joy. In the name of Jesus. Makateria bro sobre kiateria masi berebrim. No more mourning in the name of Jesus. No more sorrows in the name of Jesus. No more sadness in the name of Jesus. For we have exchanged these things, O oh God, with your oil of joy by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. And we are praying, O oh God, that instead of the spirit of, of despair, instead of the spirit of heaviness, we take on a garment of praise. We take on a garment of praise. We take on lightness. I decree lightness. In in our spirit, lightness. In our soul, lightness. In our minds, light, lightness. In our emotions, lightness. In our body, in the name of Jesus. Makabro sobre kiateria bo sobre kiatang. And I decree, O oh God, that for every single person that is taking part in this fasting and prayer, we shall be called oaks of righteousness. We shall be called the planting of the Lord. For the display of your splendor and we decree in the name of jesus that men will see us and say these ones are different they will see us and say these ones have been planted by the lord they will see swallians they will see moalians they will see the people taking part in this fasting and prayer the father as, as we come out of this fasting and prayer as we break out father our families our friends people who knew us before they will see us different they will see us transformed they will see us totally transformed and they will say indeed these ones has been with the lord they have been with the lord they have been planted Planted by the Lord. Swal has been planted by the Lord. Mual has been planted by the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Maya Kaburo Shubrikia. Your word says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Father, we have come to you. We have come to you, O God. We bow before you this evening. Give us rest from every burden. Give us rest, O God, because of the anointing. Let the burdens be lifted off our shoulders. In the name of Jesus, because of the anointing, O God, according to Isaiah 10, 27, let the yoke be broken off our neck in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be destroyed and the burdens be lifted off that we shall be lighter to soar. We shall be lighter to excel. We shall be lighter to be fruitful in all that we do in the name of Jesus. Father, we Thank you, O God. We, talk, we take upon your yoke and we learn from you. For you are gentle and humble in heart. And we find rest, O God, in our souls. Father, your word says that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We take on, O God, your light burden. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for removing that heavy coat. Thank you for removing that heavy coat. And placing on us, clothing us, O God, with a light coat. We thank you, Father. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are praying with the second prayer point. He said, Pray and declare fruitfulness in every area of your life. Because God says that he's removing over barrenness and giving us over fruitfulness. So we are praying for fruitfulness in every aspect of our lives. And the scripture is Genesis 49, 22. And it says, Joseph is a fruitful vine. A fruitful vine near a spring whose branches climb over a wall. 
So we are going to place our name there. Where you where it says Joseph, you mention your name, peace. Peace Amewowo is a fruitful vine. Beauty Delecha is a fruitful vine. Austin Apete is a fruitful vine. David Amate is a fruitful vine. I'm just mentioning the names of the people I can see. If I can't see your name, just put your name there. Okay. I am a fruitful vine. I am a fruitful vine near a spring whose branches climb over a wall. And we are decreeing the same thing into swal, upon swal, upon swalians, upon moalians, upon moal, upon everyone taking part in this fasting and prayer. We are decreeing that we are a fruitful vine in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that we, oh God, as swalians, as moalians, as the people that are taking part in this fasting and prayer, we are a fruitful vine, a fruitful vine near a spring whose branches climb over a wall in the name of Jesus. We cannot fail. We cannot not fail we shall not fail we shall not fail because we are a fruitful vine because oh lord you have taken over you have removed the overbearingness and you have replaced them in us you have placed in us over fruitfulness you've made us over fruitful and so father we thank you in the name of Jesus for this word, we key into this um, and we decree that we cannot fail. Whatever our hands finds to do, prospers. Um, in the name of Jesus, um, we are like a tree. We are like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves will not wither. Who, who bears it, which bears its fruit um, in season in the name of Jesus. Um, so shall we be. So shall we be. So shall we be. In the name of Jesus. Um, and we are praying with Psalm 105 verse 24. He says, The Lord made his people very fruitful. He made them too numerous for their foes. We are praying, God, make Swal fruitful. Make Swalians fruitful. Make Moal fruitful. Make Moalians fruitful. As we fast and pray, make us fruitful. That we shall be numerous for our foes. That they will see us and the number, our numbers alone will scare them. In the name of Jesus. And we are praying again with Leviticus 26 verse 9. He said, I will look on you with favor and make you fruitful and increase your numbers. And I will keep my covenant with you. Shall we pray? Father, I thank you for this word in the name of Jesus. I key into this and I decree this over Swal. I decree this over Moab. I decree this over every ministry that you have given to my husband and I. I decree this over turning point coaching services. I decree this over purpose driven men. I decree this over over MIH. Make it happen in the name of Jesus. Every business you've given us, every career you've given us, every vision you have given us, as a married couple of oh God, as leaders of Swala, Father, I decree in the name of Jesus that we shall be favored. We shall be fruitful in it. In the name of Jesus. You shall cause us to be fruitful. You shall cause us to increase in our numbers. I decree that Swalians increase in numbers. Moalians increase in numbers. The people of God that are following PDM and MIH, they increase in numbers in the name of Jesus. The Father, our numbers will our numbers will, will confuse our foes. It will scare them off. You will call the terror of Swalians, the terror of Moalians, the terror of Swal, the terror of Swalians. Father, the terror of PDM and MIH, you will cause it to scare our foes. In the mighty name of Jesus, those terrors, oh God, will fall upon them. That when they hear our voice, they will run in the name of Jesus. We thank you for increase on every side. We thank you for increase on every side. We thank you for favor on every side. The Father, as we break out in this season, we shall be favored on every side. Men and women, oh God, will look for us um, to bless us. Um, they will look for us um, to employ us. Um, they will look for us um, to give us a platform by the power of the Holy Ghost um, where your kingdom will be advanced, um, where your word will be taught, um, where your word will be preached um, to the nations in the name of Jesus. Um, Father, we thank you, oh God, um, that you have released us, oh God, into the world. Um, you have caused the vision to explode. Um, you have caused us to fly, oh God, um, at the speed of an aeroplane in the name of Jesus, reaching every country, reaching every nation, reaching all peoples um, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, oh God. Um, the eyes have not seen, ears have not heard um, what you are doing um, and what you are about to do through this ministry. Father, we thank you, oh God. We bless you because we trust you. We know that because you have made this covenant with us, um, it shall happen in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to pray again 
prayer point three. He said, let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let them say what? Let them say, I break out. And the angel of the Lord shall back you. And so we are praying. The word says in Luke 137, he said, For no word of no word from God will ever fail. And so we are praying that Lord, your word for us will never fail. And so as you said that we should declare that we break out, and the angel of the Lord shall back this, so shall we so shall it be. And so we are decreeing right now, we break out in the name of Jesus. I break out in the name of Jesus. I break out of any chains in the name of Jesus. I break out of any cage in the name of Jesus. I break out of any lid that has been placed on my head. I break out from it in the name of Jesus. I cause the lift, the lid to be scattered into pieces in the name of Jesus. Any lift that has been trapped in, any lift that anyone has been trapped in, in the name of Jesus, I command that lid break open in the name of Jesus. I command that lift break open. Let me out in the name of Jesus. I come out by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Any pit that I have been placed in any pit that anyone has been placed in in the name of Jesus we jump out of it by the power of the Holy Ghost we fly out of it by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus we refuse to be bound we refuse to remain the same we refuse to be chained we break out of the chains we come oh God in the power and in the strength of something and we command all the ropes to tear into pieces let them fall off by the power of the Holy Ghost let them fall by the power of the Holy Ghost, we break out in the name of Jesus. We break out in the name of Jesus. So I'll break out in the name of Jesus. Moal break out in the name of Jesus. Swalians break out in the name of Jesus. Moalians break out in the name of Jesus. The people taking part in this fasting and prayer break out in the name of Jesus. Father, I hold hands with all Swalians. I hold hands with all Moalians. I hold hands with the people taking part in this fasting and prayer. I hold hands, oh God, with Swal and Moal. And I command and decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, we are out in the name of Jesus. We break out in the name of Jesus. We break out in the name of Jesus. We soar at the speed of an aeroplane. In the name of Jesus, we cannot be hindered. We cannot be hindered. We cannot be hindered. We cannot be hindered. Let all obstructions give way. Let all, let all hindrances give way. Maka tata broko shubrekia. Yekia tete broko shubrekia. Tata broko shubrekia. We enter every door that has been opened for us. Every door that we are meant to open up. Before every door that we are meant to enter, before the foundations of the earth, Lord, we enter that door in the name of Jesus. Every position that we are meant to occupy in our life, Father, we take those positions. We occupy those positions in the name of Jesus. Any achievement that we are meant to be able to do, to be able to achieve, anything we are meant to be able to achieve in our lifetime, we achieve it by divine assignment, by divine assistance, by divine help. We achieve everything everything that our hands finds to do whatever our minds um, uh, our minds start to think um, and want to accomplish we shall accomplish it to oh god um, by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus father thank you we give you praise in jesus name we are going to pray into the dream uh, for day day 11 and the prayer is whoever is after my baby or my vision or my blessings or any good thing God has given me or is giving me out of this fasting angel of the Lord draw your sword and strike th those people down okay and I'm also going to put this prayer there angel of God carry Koboko flog my attackers we have a swell meta cane that we always say it is not a visible meta cane but I believe that it's divine and we are praying angel of the Lord carry the swell meta cane flog my attackers whoever that is after swag whoever that is after moal whoever that is after anyone that is taking part in this fasting and prayer the blessings god has given us whoever that want to kill our vision or snatch our blessings from us or, or steal what god has for us we are praying angel of the lord carry koboko carry the swan meta king carry timber anything that you can think of that is powerful angel of the lord carry it and flog our attackers in the name of jesus father just like you showed me in the dream 
whereby I took those branches um, that stick, oh God, um, and I flogged that woman to death, Lord, I decree that any woman, um, any boy, any girl, any man who has come after our giftings, um, whoever that has come after our vision, whoever that has come after our, our purpose, um, whoever that has come after our blessing, after our seed, after our baby, after our children, after our marriage, after our jobs, um, after our husbands, our wives, um, any good thing, oh God, um, that you are placed into our our, our, our territory. Any good thing, oh God, that you are giving us in this fasting and prayer. Whoever that wants to steal it, angel of Lord, angel of the Lord, carry Koboko, carry the Swan Meta King, carry Timber, flog them to death in the name of Jesus. Flog them to death in the name of Jesus. Makata Tabrokosho, angel of the Lord, draw your sword against them. Draw your sword against them. Strike them down. 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 In the name of Jesus. We are going to use this scripture to pray. He said, Psalm 89 verse 32 said, I will punish their sin with the rod. I will punish their sin with the rod. Their iniquity with flogging. Okay, so this is scripture. It is, it is in the Bible. I will punish their sin with the rod, their iniquity with flogging. And so, Lord, we are decreeing the name of Jesus. Anything, oh God, whoever that wants to steal from us, stealing is a sin. Stealing is a sin. So whoever that wants to steal from us, Lord, it is sin. And so punish their sin with the rod. Whoever that is constantly working iniquity, working evil against us, Lord, flog them. Let the angel of the Lord flog them. In the name of Jesus, tonight, oh God, I release the meta cane. I release the swan meta cane. I release the swan meta cane into the west, into the south, into the east, into the north. Whoever that is after my vision, whoever that is after my blessing, whoever that is after my giftings, whoever that is after my seed, whoever that is after my physical and my biological and spiritual children, whoever that is after this fasting and prayer, to destroy, to steal from us, to steal our blessings, to steal that which God has deposited in us or that which God has birthed out of us in the name of Jesus. Let them be flogged. Let them be flogged to death. 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 We show them no mercy. We show them no mercy. We flog you mercilessly in the name of Jesus. Makatata broko shubrekia. Yekatete broko shubrekia tete. Angel of the Lord, carry Koboko, flog those who are attempting to steal from us. Angel of the Lord, carry, carry the swan metakena, flog those who are trying to steal our blessings, steal our joy in the name of Jesus. Beat them up until they drop dead, flog them until they drop dead, flog them until they drop dead in the name of Jesus. Makabro shubrekia tete broko shubrekia tang. The Bible says that the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I, Jesus, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. John 10 verse 10. So we are praying and we are speaking life to every vision that God has given us. We are praying life to our seed. We are praying life to our blessings. In the name of Jesus, Father, we secure our blessings. I secure swal. I secure moala. I secure swalians. I secure moalians. I secure the people taking part in this fasting and prayer. I secure my life. I secure my husband. I secure secure my biological and spiritual uh, and spiritual children in the name of Jesus I decree life unto us life on every side life in abundance life in abundance that indeed these singles oh God shall be singles with a life the father these married people oh God shall be the married people with a life we shall be husbands with a life we shall be wives with a life we shall have children with a life we shall have visions with a life in the name of Jesus no man, no woman, no boy, no girl can take that which is mine. No boy, no girl, no woman, no man can take that which is ours. In the name of Jesus, I encircle, O oh God, the blood of Jesus all around my territory, all around that which is mine. And I decree they are untouchable. 
they cannot be stolen. They cannot be stolen. Father, even, oh God, anything that has already been stolen that we are not aware, I take it back by fire by force. I take it back by fire by force. I take it back by fire by force. Father, your word says in Proverbs 6, 31, you said that when the thief, 30 and 31, when the thief is caught, if the thief is caught, he is meant to return back sevenfold what he has originally stolen. And so, Lord, I decree a sevenfold restoration. Anything that has been stolen from my life, from the day I was born to now, anything that has been stolen from swag, from the day it was established until now, Father, anything that has been stolen from one, anything that has been stolen from anyone, oh God, at the sound of my voice, I decree and demand a sevenfold restoration. Let it be restored seven times more by the power of the Holy Ghost. I call it back from the west. I call it back from the south. I call it back from the east. I call it back from the north. Be delivered into our hands sevenfold. In the name of Jesus, be delivered into our hands sevenfold. In the name of Jesus, Makateria Bosokoto Brekiateria Masekia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray the final prayer. It says, pray that as you anoint your house, some of you have already anointed your houses or your rooms or your family compound house. Um, if you are yet to do it, we are still praying ahead. And the Bible says that in Hebrews 12, 29, he said, for our God is a consuming fire. And in uh, number 16, 35, he said, the fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering the incense. Okay, so we are praying that anyone that is in our homes, that is in our family homes, um, maybe you are not even in your family home anymore, you probably left and got, went to the city, but we are using our current homes um, as a point of contact for our family homes in the villages, in, in wherever they are, we are standing in and we are saying, Lord, as we anoint this house, Physically, we are anointing those homes spiritually. And we are decreeing in the name of Jesus that, that let this anointing oil turn into fire. Let the anointing oil turn into fire to destroy, to expose, to destroy anyone and anything that is, not, that is standing in God's, in God's way. Or anything that is standing in our way of breakout. So anyone that is making incantations, that is enchanting, whoever is projecting, whoever that is uh, has got a, an altar in our family compound or our family homes or in our current abode, and they are decreeing evil that is limiting us in any way, we are decreeing, let the fire of God consume them. As we anoint our house, as we have already anointed the house, as we are about to anoint the house, let the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus, Father, we turn this anointing oil, O God. I activate your fire. I activate your fire into every house that has been anointed by your divine instruction. I activate your fire into every house that is yet to be anointed, that is about to be anointed, O God. I use our current abode as a point of contact for our family homes, for our, our homes, our family houses in the villages, wherever they are, O God, our siblings' homes, Father, Lord, our nieces' homes, our cousins' homes, our, our nephews' homes, our aunties' homes, our uncles' homes, our in-laws homes father whoever oh god that is represented or are residing in any home that is connected to our lives father even be it homes that are connected to us through friendship through church through work who is working evil making incantations decreeing anything that is enforcing our limitation or delays in our lives in the name of Jesus by virtue of this anointing. Let your fire fall in that house. Let your fire fall in that house. Let your fire burn in that house. Let your fire burn in that house to expose them one after the other. Expose that evil person in the family who is causing evil, oh God. Expose that evil person who is behind the pain that the family has gone through. Father, expose that person, oh God, who is around us and causing, causing losses, causing atrocities causing pain in our lives oh God in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost by the angelic assistance by virtue of the potency of the anointing oil let them be exposed let them be exposed let them be exposed let them be exposed and let them be bent down let the fire of God bend them let the fire of God bend them let the fire of God bend them let a strong man go down let a strong man be removed let a strong man go down 
Let the strong man be removed. Let them be removed. For our sake, O oh God. 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 In the name of Jesus. Makateria bo shobreki yete tete. Yete ria makabro shobre bre 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 bre. Yete ria mama 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 mo shobre bre bre bre. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you for our breakout. We thank you for our breakout. This season of our life, O oh God. We cannot remain the same. We shall not remain the same. Father, we thank you, O God, for what you are about to do. We thank you for what you are doing. Father, we thank you for it is marvelous. It is beautiful. The world will see it and marvel. The world will see it and praise you. Father, we thank you. All we want to do is thank you. We just love you, Lord. We just love you, Lord. Father, we just love you, Lord. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God. Maya kabro shobrekiateria. Tonight, O oh God, as we push through in prayer, as we, we pray, O oh God, throughout this night, we ask that you will empower us. Holy Ghost, empower us. Angels of God, help us. Angels of God, strengthen us. Come and minister to us. Come and deliver your message to us. Physically deliver your message to us in the name of Jesus. The message that God has for us from the throne room of God. Let it be delivered to us tonight. As we sleep, oh God, give us visions. Give us victory in our sleep. Give us victory in our dreams. Father, I put a stop to any demonic witchcraft, recurrent dreams, any dreams that are linking us to delays. Father, in the name of Jesus, I put a stop to it tonight in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree no more, no more, no more. No more. Father, you did it for me. Do it for them, O oh God. Do it for those that are experiencing evil dreams, repeated dreams. Father, in the name of Jesus, put an end to this. I put an end to this. I stop it in the name of Jesus. For your word says that whatever I allow on earth, heaven shall allow it. Whatever I disallow, heaven shall disallow. And so, Lord, I, Lord, I disallow these dreams. I disallow sexual dreams. I disallow dreams of eating. I disallow dreams of seeing oneself in the villages. Dreams of seeing oneself in the primary school places that we've already left. Father, I stop those dreams in the name of Jesus. I stop the powers and the spirit behind those dreams. I cut them off from our lives permanently by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for freedom. I thank you for freedom. For whom the Son set free is free indeed. We are free indeed. We are free indeed. And we break out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you've been empowered to go into the all night strong and strong um we will we'll soon finish it's already day getting to day 12 now by the time you realize you are out okay so let's keep pushing and pushing i trust god for big big mighty 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 testimonies coming out of this fasting and prayer okay so don't take it lightly at all in jesus name god bless you god bless you god bless you please share the broadcast with somebody Tag your friends, tag at least 10 people, okay, before you go to bed. Worship at your feet, bow before your throne, you are the glorious God. I'm just trying to tag a few people before I leave, leadership by example, so you have no excuse now, you can't say the CEO didn't do it and she's asking us to do it. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. So God is saying to me right now, um, I'm just feeling this coming strongly. Um, all of us at least three miracles everyone should expect at least three miracles out of this fasting and prayer that is what god is saying 
Father, we thank you for the three miracles. We bless you. We receive them with both hands, with our legs, with our whole being. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father. You please pray for me, pray for my husband and I, pray for us. We really need prayers, okay? Don't forget that we are at the forefront, so, and we are really, really fighting. So please, um, we are fighting for the freedom of everyone, so you need to also shower us with your prayers so that we will always be waxing stronger and stronger, so that you can enjoy us more by the grace of God. I love you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, enjoy your all night and see you next week. Bye.